Am I live? <laughs> you would think. Hopefully. Hopefully I am. Let's see. I do this every time. Every step I take. I can't even see. Let's see. No, don't do that. Okay. I guess I'm on here. I need to refresh. Okay. I guess I'm on here. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I stay gone just long enough to not even remember how to do this. Because y'all can't mess around and think that I know what I'm doing because I said, clearly I still don't. If we could get somebody, hopefully at some point, y'all can confirm or deny if I have sound and visuals. Hopefully I do. Hmm. Did I turn this Wi-Fi off? Okay. Baby, it's yours. Okay, so. All right, I guess I'll get started. Hopefully y'all can hear something. And if you can't, oh, well, y'all let me know when you get here. And I'll just start this thing going over. Okay. So, I really hope this thing is on. Anyway, I always spend the first few minutes trying to make sure I got some sound. And then it sounds loud. I guess y'all can hear me. Okay. Well, either way, welcome back to Pills, Potions, and Poisons with me in Allen Rx. I know, I know. I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off. Or is it freak out? I mean, I don't know what they call it these days because Diddy, he's just on some other stuff right now. So, I mean, look him, we're going to change the lyrics from freak out, from jump off to freak out. I don't know these things. They don't have Intercontinental in the city where I live. I guess, you know, I had to come to Intercontinental in your city. <laughs> when I come back again soon. Anyway, so. I'm in Allen Rx and I'm a pharmacist, but I'm not here in a professional capacity. Oh no, oh no, I'm not. I really cannot focus until like um if I can get some of my ninja watchers to confirm or deny if I have sound. Hopefully y'all can hear this. I don't know if you can or not. Anyway, I'm in Allen Rx and I'm a pharmacist, but I'm not here in a professional capacity. No, I am not. But I do have some information that I could share with you guys that um you know, expert level of information, but that's not what I'm here to do. Please don't get it twisted because I'm not your pharmacist, okay? I'm a pharmacist, but I'm not your pharmacist. Y'all probably singing that song. What do a DMX be saying? Keisha, Tamika, Tawana, about three kills? <laughs> yeah, because I'm every woman. Anyway, so. I really, I really don't know if this thing working or not. So, whew, before we get started, can we just, um, can we have a moment of silence for our dear brother, brother love? Let me put his picture up. Y'all need to see him, even though we know who he is. There he is, y'all. There he is, our dear brother love. Let's just, before we get started in this thing really good, Let's have a moment of silence for him, my Scorpio brother. Brother Love, Diddy, P. Diddy, however you have affectionately come to know him. Okay, moment of silence. <laughs> okay, that was long enough. He ain't dead. He just kind of like in some trouble right now. Don't be all silly. Y'all get silly when y'all think that. He's not dead, but I do think it's over. I think it's over. But, whew, where do we begin? Where do we begin? This situation with him, it's a little bit juicy. It's a little bit hot. It's red hot. And if you notice my title, it's like a red light special. What are you talking about, Allen? Well, we're going to get into that. This, the setting of tonight's episode, 
It takes place, um, it's, it's a multi-state situation. It starts, it's in the, um, what do you call it? What's the name of these states? It's in the, um, the Golden State or California, yeah. It takes place in um, the Sunshine State of Florida. It also takes place in the Empire State of New York. <laughs> That's where is it? So, Diddy all over the place. They going through his stuff. They all up in his business, okay? They dig in his business. I saw something today where Suge Knight was like, look, they ain't trying to get nothing. They trying to destroy evidence. I don't know how true that is, but that's just what they said. So we're going to have to go with it. I don't know. So y'all know everything that's covered up here on Pills, Potions, and Poisons with me in now and RX. It's all going to be drug-related, drug-affiliated, okay? But... Every, you know, topic that I kind of start to start to, to cover, I mean, you did it down because we already know what he looked like. Everybody know him. Every topic that I, um, that I cover, I like to do a little bit of research, you know, get a little background information on the person of interest, you know, the, the subject, the artist, whoever it is at that time. I didn't have to do any research on, on Diddy. I know him. I knew him. I've been knowing him since, you know. Way back when, so I ain't have to do it. I just saw Diddy. What do you mean you just saw Diddy? I just saw Diddy. Well, maybe I ain't just see him, just see him. It was probably like, probably about, mm, about two years ago, I guess. Two years ago, I saw Diddy. And um, I saw him, you know, when Usher had, he was doing that residency when um, the shutdown first ended. And he was doing a residence, residency in Vegas. And everybody, he was having a different person like show up every night. Well, on the night that I was there, Diddy showed up. Your girl was like, oh my God, it's Diddy. Usher well, told me he loved me, but I, I think I told him first. But, I, you know, we ain't going to get into that. It was a wild, wild night. Anyway, so, yeah, I just saw Diddy. So, you know, I really didn't have to keep up with him, you know, do any research on him because I know all the songs. He did the whole Diddy Bop. He did the whole skip. You know, y'all know that, new, that, 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 that New York skip thing he be doing. Y'all know him. Take this money. Y'all know Diddy. So I ain't had to do no research on him. But I was watching, you know, I mean, I love celebrity gossip. I love all kind of, you know, mess. I don't like Miss, but it's interesting. I do like to know what's going on with these celebrities. I ain't gonna lie. I do like to know what's going on with them. So, you know, I've been keeping up with the Diddy news. You know, all these raids and all this, you know, trafficking. All of that, right? So I've been watching a lot of YouTube, a lot of social media, and seeing what, you know, they've been saying. So this um, this scene, this situation with um, Cuba Gooden Jr. kept coming up. This guy, Lil Rod, he, um, I guess he filed some kind of complaint, lawsuit. I don't know. Y'all know I'm not a lawyer. I'm a pharmacist. So I don't know the legal terminology. Okay. But I was like, hmm, this room is red. What's that all about? I wonder if they got something to do with like the whole ambiance. And I was like, hmm, red rum. <laughs> red rum, red rum. It's like red rum. Why is that? I'm like, what? Oh, y'all watch scary movies. Y'all ever seen that movie? I ain't never, uh, I don't watch scary movies because I don't like to be scared like that. Why would I scare myself like that? But Red Rum, who was in that movie? Who was in that movie? Um, the guy, y'all know him. He used to, uh, <laughs> he used to sit courtside at the Lakers games all the time. What is his name? I, I'm gonna have to go over this. I, I'm like, I, I ain't gonna go, I ain't gonna get on Google tonight. Not, not right now. Well, who the hell was this dude? What's his name? Y'all know him. He was in uh, the other movie too with um uh You Can't Handle the Truth. Y'all know him. What is his name? What's the name of the movie? Not Tom Cruise. Don't tell me Tom Cruise. I remember Tom Cruise. I'll tell my time. Anyway, at some point, I guess I looked this up. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm like red rum, red rum, red room, red rum, whatever. So it got me to thinking. And I was like, red light. Red light special. I wonder if that, y'all know TLC. Of course, if y'all don't know, red light special all through the night. Y'all know that song. Y'all know what it is. Well, let's get back to the story. So, 
I did some research. I did a little research and I was like, is this a thing? Is the is the red light special? Is that a thing? So I'm like, let me go to Google. See what they talking about. See what Google talking about. So I go to Google and I type in, what is <laughs> what is a red light special? I'm scared. Cause I don't want nothing crazy to come up on my computer. I'm at home on the computer. You know, this is my personal computer, but you know, it's not a public situation, but you don't want nothing crazy to come up. Cause crazy stuff will come up when you be trying to Google these different things. So I'm like, okay, well, type it in. What is a red light special? Is red light special a thing? And anyway, even in, when, in the state that I'm in, even if I wanted to like look at something that was a little, you know, I'll be, we can't, we can't do it without logging in. And uh, y'all know. <laughs> I ain't logging in. I can't have that kind of stuff on my night. I ain't, it ain't that serious. Got to find a workaround. Got to find another way to work around it. I'm just saying. So anyway, I Google what is a red light special. Nobody has told us what that is. So what does Google tell me? Google says, Google says, they go right to the song, of course. Of course they go to the song. I'm like, okay, I, I, got, I got an idea what the song is. So it says, um, they didn't give me, <laughs> Google, why well, Google everything? Not drug stuff, because I already know y'all going to be like, oh, they at work Googling everything. I could just do that from home. WebMD, ChatGPT. No, I'm not Googling my work stuff. My girl, I, at work, we got our trusted primary sources for our what, uh, clinical pharmacology and drug information. That's at work. I'm at home trying to figure out what a red light special is, so I'm going to Google that, okay? That's not, don't even say that. So it says, the song seems to be about a woman and it's not limited to women it's however you identify yourself that's how i took it that's how i'm interpreted so if you he she them they their person place a thing whoever you are it's how you identify yourself this is a plan to give your lover a shamefully naughty night of sexual delights that they could only otherwise have done with a pro professional in the red light districts of the world, but it's left up, you know, to your interpretation. So this is a wide, you know, situation, however you feel, but it's like, it comes from the red light district kind of talk. I'm like, hmm, y'all know me at this point. I got like seven, eight different narratives going on in my head. I'm like, what is this all about? So, next thing I was like, well, what 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 about this red light? You know, it's like red light district, red light special. Is it something, you know, I, I got to go a little deeper. I got to go deep, okay? So, what is the red light situation? Does a red light in particular have some kind of effect on the senses? Because these people are clearly in a red room. Dang, I thought I had put the picture... Y'all know, y'all seen it. I, I, I'm going to try to find it at some point, the picture with Cuba Gooden Jr. and them. Y'all saw it on my thumbnail. That was them in a red room on a yacht. So I'm like, what's up with the red light, Diddy? So went back to my homegirl, Google. Google says, red lights can be used to enhance sensuality, intimacy, and romance in the bedroom. Okay, red light. My light ain't red back in my lights are pink. I ain't. I do put on a red shirt and I always wear a red lip for y'all and perfume. But that's what the red light does. Red is associated with blood. I don't know if that was too hot, but they said blood. So I'm gonna say blood. Sun, fire, and precious stones like rubies, uh, garnet. And it can evoke romantic feelings and a sense of desirable connection. One study found that the red light is perceived as less pleasant and more arousing than blue light, which may stimulate a heightened sense of excitement. 
So all these dudes on the boat, on the yacht, under the red light. Sound like Diddy trying to set the mood for something. I don't know. I don't know. Sounds like he was trying to set the mood. Okay, everybody down there waiting under the red light. So I had to go down a little bit further. I said, what is a red light district? What is a red light district? Because, I mean, I don't know. And that that took me down a whole nother red, another rabbit hole that I can't even get into, you know, on a social media platform. So when I saw Diddy and Lil Rod and Cuba Good and all the people in this in this space with this red light, I was like, okay, they already knew what was going down. Everybody came there. They was ready to get down with the get down, okay? So I'm like, all right, whatever. It ain't looking too good for Diddy, okay? Yeah, I hope I, I hope people can hear me because I'm like talking and I don't want to like give a thousand hours of talking for nothing. Okay. I mean, but I ain't been out here, so I understand. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I know. Okay, then I said, okay, well, okay, so it is so they under they they under the red light. I'm gonna get into the drugs. Y'all know we're gonna talk about the drugs. We're gonna get into that, but we gotta like set the boot here. We gotta see like the scene has set the scene. So cause did he set the scene? He got these, he got it, he got it. Red, red light, red room, red rum, red rum. Who is it? Y'all tell me for us all. Tell me who it is. Somebody tell me who it is. And get in this chat. Somebody say hello, say goodbye, say we hear you, say no, say yes, say whatever. Okay. Tell me something. Okay. <laughs> oh, so you must have heard me. Thank you. Who is this? Danique Anthony. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the chat. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. Okay. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can see me. Let's go and enjoy the show. All right. <laughs> We're going to talk about these drugs, okay? We're going to get into the drugs. Thank you, um, Danique. Looks like Danique. Great day coming in loud and clear. Thank you. I'm going to recognize y'all in the chat because, you know, I need y'all to help me do the show, of course. Suck polyphonic thinker. <laughs> It's, who is this? Why does that sound, sound familiar? I think I know who this is. I'm not sure. Southern Bella, thank you. Yes, I was wondering if we would get a master class on pink cocaína. Ah, yes. Si, senor. Or senorita. Yes, we will. We're going to talk about that. Because we got to get into that. Y'all going to be surprised because I was like, oh, y'all know I had to get into it. Because I'm like, y'all know, I don't know about street drugs a whole lot. But... <laughs> What I found out, it was like, child, please. Okay, so we got the red lights. We got the yacht. I wonder if the yacht was like, if it was docked or if they were sailing. But y'all, I mean, should that matter? I mean, but I'm like, if you out, you know, you out in the water, and you know, probably most of them can swim. I'm sorry to say they probably can swim. So if it's like you out on the water, you in this room with a red light. You know, people be having motion sickness. You know, y'all got to get them patches, them scopolamine patches to put behind y'all here when y'all go on these cruises. I don't really like cruises like that, but, you know, I don't know if they got something to do with my, you know, genetics or whatever. So they got to get these patches. He on the dock. He in a red. It's like you in a red room. It's like, can I get a flashing light, red light warning? And you on a boat. You like, Ugh. you know, probably the motion sickness. And it's like... People like, why Lil Rod kept going back? Why is Lil Rod, you know, staying here, putting up with all this mess? He probably was trapped because if they was on a yacht in the middle of some body of water down there in Biscayne Bay or wherever they got it, Florida. Y'all don't know no geography like that. Whatever's down there, he was, he was stuck. And he needed his money. He didn't have no money. He had to go wherever Diddy told him to go and do whatever Diddy told him to do. So, you know, we're going to look at the drugs, y'all. But I'm just wondering, like, and a lot of it is like, today came that came out like there's some kind of discrepancy going on with the attorney. I don't know. I just listen to what they tell me on, on YouTube. So, let's get into it. All right. So, I got an article here, y'all. A lot of the drugs that was listed were some of the same drugs that Cassie had listed, okay? So we're going to get into this article, and then we're going to talk a little bit about this pink cocaine situation because 
Some people ain't getting what they buy. Hey, they they like paying for one thing and they getting something else. Hold on, y'all. All right, so that's Sean. Y'all know Sean. So this this part right here, this is about this his guy, his mule, his his drug guy, right? What is from? This from yesterday. What's today's day? I don't even know what day it is. So they're saying, can y'all see this? Hopefully y'all can see it. Let me put myself down. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I'm still learning. I've been gone too long this time, I think. <laughs> I be out here living my life. Okay, where am I at? Okay, so I'm going to get down here. All right, so what we got? All right, so his associate, he was arrested. His home was raided, all right? So this guy evidently, I didn't even know this till today either. I'm today years old when I found this out. This guy, uh, that was arrested. That was the, the guy that was getting drugs. He's a former Syracuse University basketball player. He's Brandon Powell. He was arrested at Miami Dade Police uh, Department officers, blah, 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 right? So what did he have on him? He had cocaine and marijuana candy. They make marijuana candy. Oh, I need to step up my drug guy. Not to use, but just to know about. Y'all know how it is. Don't be acting like that. Okay? So the arrest was made. Uh, as a result of a joint effort between Miami Day, the Department of Homeland Security, and Customs and Border Protection per the affidavit. Okay. The defendant had contraband inside of his personal travel bag, personal travel bag, which he claimed prior to be search, be, being searched. Okay. Upon testing, officers determined the substances were the powder and the edibles. Okay. He was released on a $2,500 bond. It's, that, does that seem low to y'all? This seemed low to me. I feel like, you know, this, if they was like doing all this, they got all these people trying to get up one guy. Y'all yeah, think his bond should have been a little higher than that? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Put a yes in the chat if you think that was, put one in the chat if you think that's a reasonable bond. Or put two in the chat like, it should have been a little higher than that. I don't know. It just seemed like a lot of drama about for him to just be able to get out with $2,500. Okay. Paul is referred to as Combs' mule. Y'all know what a mule is. If y'all watch Narcos and those shows like I do, you know what a mule is. Okay. Okay. Lil Rod, Rod Jones Jr., his loss, his civil lawsuit against the bad boy founder and Cuba Gooden Jr. for SA and harassment. So he said this guy was, he said he was the mule. Lil Rod said he was the mule. So I guess they're gonna trust everything Lil Rod say. I don't know. So they said a lot of the things that they were doing. Let me pull this up. That how they were transporting the drugs, even like on commercial flights, because a lot of this stuff, these flights weren't even private. But it's like, how can they do that? I don't know. He's like, even if you put drugs in your bag, I don't know where I was going one time. Some international uh, flight I was on, going somewhere. And it was in New York. I was in New York or New Jersey. I don't know. They had dogs in the airport. They had like people walking around and, and like, you know, when you get ready to get on the plane, they checking you, you know, if you ain't got to, uh, whatever you call it, well, you can just go, go through, which I need to do my interview for. Um, they had dogs. I'm like, y'all know, I, I, I got some prescription drugs I use. They they legit, but, and, you know, if I travel, I might have to travel with them. Should I got make sure I need to do what I need to do. I ain't trying to get back, you know, I come back home. But anyway. I'm like, what are these dogs are here for? There were dogs. And this wasn't like, this was probably like, this might have been three years ago, maybe four years ago. But there were dogs in there. I had never seen dogs like that in the airport. I'm like, did they know somebody was going to be there? Like, were they trying to hit somebody off? These, they walking through the line. Like, you know, you standing in between those little things, you waiting on people, you know, to get checked in, whatever. I'm like, I really, I just be paranoid, even though I don't have nothing on me. I don't have nothing on me now. But I still be like, <laughs> are they going to get me? I just be crazy. Oh, I be thinking, I be so crazy. I ain't got no drugs, y'all. I ain't got no drugs. Okay. Southern Bella, thank you for participating in the poll. Um, You think it should be a higher? I think so, too. Because I'm like, that ain't enough. $2,500. It's like so much drama all in the news. It's like all over everywhere. And it's like, they got the mule. They got the dope man. They got the drug guy. And he could just get out for $2,000. Hmm. 
I don't know. But let's get back to it. So, okay, in the amended lawsuit filed with New York Federal District Court by Jones on Monday, today is what? What's today? Today's what's today? Thursday. So he, he amended it Monday. Evidently, he amended it again today. I don't know what he got going on, but he said he was Combs' mule. Right, and he allegedly procured, transported, and distributed ecstasy. If you also see MDMA, that's what the X is, okay? Cocaina, the powdery substance, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, shrooms, and 2C, okay? If this is 2C, we're going to get into that too, because I was like, how do we pronounce this, okay? We're going to get into that in just a second. Okay, he transported by packing these substances in their carry-on luggage going and going through TSA. He must not have been in some like major airport because I'm telling y'all, when I was in the airport, I don't remember if I was in JFK, wherever I was. Okay, because you know, I, I don't like to be people me knowing where I'm at anyway. Let me get in my hair out here. And um they had dogs in the airport. So it's like how they just slide through. And it's like the nerve to fly commercial, you know, with this stuff. Who is he? Who is he? Is he somebody? He got out for $2,500 with no problem. So Tusi, they say Tusi is described at, in the lawsuit as a pink drug that is a combination of ecstasy and cocaine. Let's go to this other. Um, let, me, let me take this down. Oh, I ain't never put it back up. Okay, well, let me switch this over. So we, I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about what Tusi is. You sound like the funky why Tusi. Um, okay, so let me, uh, hopefully y'all can see this. What is it? Pink cocaine, the pink powder. It's the expensive and trendy drug. It's neither the powder nor is it high quality. <gasps> They say it ain't even high quality. Why are they saying it? Let's get into it. Uh-oh. I'm on the wrong screen, y'all. I be messing up. I cannot see. Oh, shoot. They say press shift one. <laughs> this screen is so big over here. Okay. I messed up the wrong one. Okay. Can y'all see it? Okay. Also known as, they say, 2C or and 2CB. How do I know how to pronounce it? This, this is from Madrid. This is from Spain, okay? This is an old article, but they told me what I needed to know about this Tusi situation. In Spain, it sells for about $100 per gram and is a mixture of cheaper substances such as ketamine and ecstasy. You didn't hear nothing about that powder, did you? Okay. So they say the substance is pink, sometimes smells like strawberries, and in Spain goes by a different name. 2CB, 2C, pink powder. Most commonly, it's called pink cocaine, cocoa, pink cocoa. And it's considered a luxury drug for affluent people. A single gram costs $80, $90, or even $100. The same amount of ordinary powder costs around $60. So that's the price difference, okay? According to a report, Spanish Observatory and Drug and Addictions, blah, 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 published this year. It's neither, okay, they say they don't even have the powder in it. What is it? They tricking people. Most of the pink powder was a cocktail of several cheaper drugs. It's cheaper drugs. 44% of the samples contain ketamine, MDMA, or ecstasy, and caffeine. Lord have mercy. Y'all, these people out here, they think, oh, did it like, can we go, can y'all go get the two C, the pink, blah, blah, blah. Go get it. <laughs> it's not even any in there. Most of the time, they just giving them a bunch of mess. How do I know it's, you know, called that? This is a whole bunch of other stuff. It says, it's important to demystify the pink coke. At the end, the end, it's a booming business and selling it something very, it's, they're selling it something very exclusive, but it's a regular triphasic, like just a three, regular three, you know, drug situation. It's a mixture of ketamine with stimulants such as ecstasy, and in this case, speed 
or a type of amphetamine. It ain't the cocaine. That's the amphetamine that they want. That's the stimulant that they want in the pink situation. It functions to counteract ketamine's depressing effect, and it's easy and inexpensive to make. A gram of MDMA costs 40 euros or $42, sometimes a little less. Ketamine is around 20 to 35 euros, between 21 and $37. And caffeine powder can be purchased anywhere. You can get that anywhere, anytime. They like just go in the store. You might as well be taking Fioricet or something like that, Butabitol. They taking that for migraines all day long in the caffeine. You can just get that, you know. And say so you take a little bit of each, mix them, add the pink color, a little strawberry smell, and voila, you sell it for 100 euros. It's cheaper and safer to buy the substance and mix them yourself. <laughs> they just cooking it up in the kitchen. Y'all think y'all get something more exclusive? But yeah, okay, so how do I know how to pronounce it? Where is, I should do better. They had the chemical name on here. Where is it in my phone? Let's see. So it's like 2CB blah, blah, blah. Y'all don't need to know these drugs, you know, these, these, these molecules. It's not important. Y'all ain't taking no chemistry. Either way, it's 2 comma blah, blah, blah. C, the letter C and the letter B and then blah, blah, blah. That's how we know. And that's how they pronounce it, 2CB. Uh, why in the world did I not put this on here so y'all can see it? Oh, y'all know we could always do. We can Google it. <laughs> One moment, please. Let's see. Two C. One moment. Okay. So maybe I should say, what is it? Because it's like how to pronounce. I ain't trying to pronounce it. We need to know what it is. You know, when you be dumb Googling all this stuff, I hope these people don't come and get me. This is my personal computer. They say they got Diddy computers. And now it's electronics. Okay. All right. <sighs> okay, so this is on like some on PubMed. Y'all don't want to see this. Y'all ain't trying to be no brainiacs tonight. But I'm uh, we're gonna pull it up anyway. Let's see if we can zoom in. Uh oh, I did the wrong screen again. Hold on. Can y'all see this? A new ketamine concoction. Blah blah blah. This from earlier this year. So let's see. All right. The concoction is also sometimes referred to as pink cocoa. Typically, it comes in the form of pink powder. Despite its name, it rarely contains the 2C series drugs. Multiple drug checking, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's get down to this. People using it may think the drug 2C, that's the 2C, T-U-S-I, T-U-C-I, or the 2C-B. 2C-B. So that's it. It's like from the chemical name. So it's like, this is not the Tucci. This is not Tucci. This ain't Lil Wayne now. Okay. This is just how you pronounce the name of the drug. Okay. So that's what that is. Let's take this down. Y'all gonna, I, I know I'm gonna be on here trying to rust it. Every time I get it, I'll be like, oh, let me stay gone so I can forget how to use it, how to do this. So yeah, so it's Tucci. So that's what that is. Diddy got the people, the guy rolling around here, they ain't even got the powder up in there. They don't even know what they're getting. They just getting some caffeine and some eggs and what else? Ketamine. So you thinking you getting on the stuff, you finna like turn up. You getting ready to go down. You going down. You like, what? Why ain't hitting the high? Because you got the fake stuff this time. If you ain't getting from a reliable source, then you just SOL, I guess. What y'all think about that? Let's let me see what y'all got going on in the chat. I haven't really talked to y'all tonight. Y'all just finally getting in here and it's late. Thank y'all though. You know, I always be glad to see y'all whenever you get here. You're always welcome. Okay, hold on. Let me see what I'm looking at. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. Danique, thank you. Polyphonic thinker. Is that this other girl? I don't even know this. Southern Bella, thank you so much. Yes, I was wondering if we would get a master class on the pink cocaine. So on it, y'all see now, it ain't even people wasting money. You know, I got I, my nails pink on, you know, for the two cheek, the two C. The funky why to say we the how the song go. <laughs> yeah, I know I'll be on some mess. I'm like, I'm a jukebox, I'm radio. I know I ain't radio. What's his name? Cuba Gun Jr. He ain't radio. So 
She like, is it even legal then? It's it's still not because you know ecstasy. It's like a uh, it's a schedule one. Now the other one, well, marijuana is well, marijuana ain't in it. I'm just looking at the drug list. He got drugs anyway, but the uh, caffeine and all that stuff. Yeah, they, they can do whatever they want with that. They ain't got the powder in it though. Diddy up there wondering why he ain't getting his high as high, and it's because it's not. There's nothing in it. That's not the powder. Is the stimulant is not in it. So you say, for example, um, you think you know they walk around with they Gucci pouches. What they say is it Gucci or a fit? Who who? What kind of pouches they had? I don't even know. What what kind of main brand it was? Anyway, they had the dope in there. Everybody got to keep the dope in there. Cause Diddy, you know, he got they got to keep him high. He don't want to come down. I think he still could be suffering from when he had like towards ACL or something that time. Remember, he was like voter die. And he like went on this whole health kick, and um, I think he got hooked on pain pills and stuff like that. Then I don't know. This is just me speculating because that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just speculating. None of this is you know factual information. This is just me talking. Okay. I'm, you know, exchanging information with y'all. Y'all talking to me, I'm talking to y'all. So I think he got hooked on pills then. But he probably been on pills, but all that other exotic behavior that he's engaging in, you know, that was all on him. But I think that's when he really got deep in the drugs. But anyway, it's not legal, okay? It's not legal, but it ain't as exotic as he wanted to be if they give it him. And it would be crazy if they somebody selling Diddy some like they would they be saying like some stepped on stuff like it ain't it ain't pure it ain't good they'll be so messed up I wonder how much money he'd have spent on on fake stuff and it's like you you take that the fake stuff and then if you're drinking too because alcohol is a depressant it's a downer okay y'all be crying and fighting and doing all kind of stuff when y'all be drinking stop all that just cut it out sometimes y'all be in your feelings okay stop it so you think you got something that's gonna you got you think you got the powder in there that's gonna stimulate that's gonna bring you up you ain't even in there you be halfway asleep <laughs> that's so crazy anyway mortgage boss hey welcome to the chat and welcome everybody else thank y'all for like tuning in tonight for this episode is kind of pharmacy after dark. It's kind of after dark because we got some drugs. We talked about a little blood. We're talking about red rooms and red rooms. Okay. Mortgage boss, what do you think? Let me know what you think about this whole Diddy situation. Polyphonic thinker. <laughs> she said, I want to try MDMA. <laughs> Can I be honest? Can I be honest with you? Me too. <laughs> I'm not, and I haven't. You know, you be hearing so much about some of the stuff. It's like, man, I could, I could get down with that. But they, you know, you get the, you be on his ex, and they say you be dehydrated and having strokes or heart attacks or something. Don't you have to put you in the shower? I don't know. These people, have you ever been around somebody who was um, uh, who was high on X? Don't they have to put them in the shower and run water on them? They said they be dehydrated. I don't know. Southern Bella. She said, wow, that's crazy what people put in their bodies. <laughs> yeah. And me and Polyphonic Thinker, we trying to get to see what the MDA about. Uh, you know, we just, we just talking. We not really doing none of this. Not for real. <laughs> not really. We just talking right now. Mortgage boss. The puppies. What puppies? Or the girls, because I'm thinking like you talking about them. <laughs> yeah, so guys, okay, so let's just get back to uh okay, so let's just uh let's get back to the store. <laughs> Mortgage Bob. She said, okay, they said uh they reached out to Combs. I think I think he did respond, or his attorneys responded on his behalf. But anyway, Lil Rod Jones, Lil Rod. He worked on Combs, his most recent record, the Love album, Off the Grid. I have not listened to any song that was on the Love album. I feel like all this kind of dropped where the Cassie stuff started when this came out, didn't it? Cassie, like, drop your album next year, drop your album next lifetime, Diddy. Because, like, when that album was supposed to drop, 
And all this, she was like, drop this, drop this, drop this. I don't know. No song that was on the album. I don't, did they put the album out? I don't know. According to Jones, he and Combs worked together between September 22 and November 2023. So it was a little over a year. A partnership that resulted in nine songs on the Love album for which Jones is credited as a producer. Diddy has denied Jones' allegations against him. You got nine songs on the album? I don't even know how many songs on the album. Put a one in the chat if you have heard the Love album off the grid. Put a one in the chat. Do that for me. Okay. Put a two in the chat if you like me and you like what love? Love album. I can't name one song that was on the Love album. Let me get Mortgage Boss down. Thank you, Mortgage Boss. Thank you for showing up tonight. Do y'all know any songs on the Love album? I'm trying to think like, what? Can we name one song? Do we know any songs? That was that's on the love album because I don't know not one. Okay, I can't name one. Like I'm really thinking about this. I don't know what no songs on the album. Put a one in chat if you know the album. Put a two if you like what. I don't even know nothing from Diddy since he was you know dancing on other people's videos. Okay, so in the lawsuit, Jones alleges Combs required him and Paul. Who is Paul? Oh, Brandon, Brandon. You don't want to get it confused with Brandon. To carry Combs' firearm on their person whenever they went out. I just, you know, maybe I think too much of myself because I'm like, hey, maybe do nothing. Now. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. Defendant Christina Corum had Paul Moy Bond and Frankie Santella carry out an assortment of responsibilities remain, ranging from drug trafficking to the procurement of sex workers for Combs, according to Jones. <laughs> okay, what else? What else had happened? It's like, picture it, uh, Sicily, 1923. Diddy's out here in Miami getting people to solicit pink drugs that's not even the legitimate stuff that he wanted anyway. Okay, golly. Paul was about one of Combs' employees that would negotiate the fees for the workers and that they would receive and would ensure that the workers are paid. Oh, he was just like a manager or a handler. He was like an overseer. <laughs> Does it sound like an overseer? Because, I mean, he just was, he was still working for Diddy. He was writing songs and he was like, okay. Um, okay, so you, and it's like negotiate with the workers. The pay, they don't have a flat rate. I don't have a lot of experience with the, these uh, these uh, particular kind of um, uh, employees. I have, you know, managed. I have been a manager of people, but they ain't got no set rate. Like, what is the what is it? How do you negotiate these rates? Does it depend on what kind of you know? What they wish she was doing? Julie Roberts was saying, "I'm pretty woman." It's like you know, hundred dollars for this, fifty dollars for that. You know, two hundred dollars for the whole night. Like. How does that even work? What's the negotiations? It's like, nah, uh, if he, you know, <laughs> it depends on what you're working with. Like, how does that matter? How does that work? I know my people in my chat, we squared up. We don't know too much about this kind of stuff. But I would like to be in on those negotiations just to hear, just to see. Y'all know, y'all ain't curious. I'll be up in there. <laughs> this dude told me one time, he was like, you so crazy. And somebody, you know how they be like, <laughs> they have like people like in the kidnapping van, they be kidnapping these people, these uh, underage individuals and these women. They be like, they get you, they gonna let you out. I'm like, why? You'll be up in there like, I mean, so, <laughs> I mean, what made you pick me? Like out of all the people, you know, there are all these people that were standing out there like, why you grab me? And they be like, just be quiet. And I'll be like, I mean, I mean, since I'm in here, I'm just trying to figure out, like, I mean, <laughs> what made me stand out? <laughs> and, I mean, where are we going? Okay, I just, uh, can I sit in the front? This ain't necessary. I'm in here. We can't get out. Ain't no windows in this van. I'm like, man, shut up. Just shut up. Let me get back to the story. They're like, yeah, they be to put you out. I'm like, I mean, I'm just curious. 
why you pick me to kidnap me? Well, like, so we don't get kidnapped in the future. But what is the negotiations, you know, with the workers, the night workers? Like, how do we negotiate these prices? Is he like, no, that's too much. We ain't paying it. We got a, you know, a limit of $1,000 per person a night. So, but it's like, but you got, you got, you know, six people that end up here. Or this person don't typically do, you know, same sex individuals. You know, like, how does that work? I don't know. I'm worried about the wrong thing. I'm worried about the wrong thing. That's not what we're talking about. Okay, so anyway. So that's what that's what Lil Rod, Lil Rod ain't got time to be you negotiating these prices. You know, I'm not doing that. He was tired of doing that. He just wanted to write the music. He like, it's just about the music for him. You know, like, can you like get back to the music, Diddy? Okay. So according to Jones, <laughs> City Girls rapper Young Miami, along with two other women, wellness coach Jade Ramey, I don't know who that is, and <laughs> rapper Curtis, 50 Cent Jackson's ex-girlfriend and co-parent Daphne Joy were among the women who were paid monthly, a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' workers. Ooh, ooh. Fifty don't like that. We know fifty don't like that. I've been saying fifty all in the news today. I'm like, what fifty cent got to do with any of this? Fifty cent always. Let me put myself up to say this because I know y'all know it too. Fifty cent is always like talking this trash, and I'm a fifty fan. I love fifty cent. Don't come for me, fifty cent. Okay. If they hate, let them hate and watch the money pile up. I'm all, I'm on that team. You know, I ain't got no money sound on here. Okay, I'm gonna just do that. I'm on like the money team. Me and you, Floyd May with who well, all of us, you know, I'm on it. They hate let them hate watch the money pile up. I'm on that 50, but you been there, you always talking about somebody else business, you know. Cause when the Cassie stuff came out, he was one of the main ones. Like, I got a video. Did it send me a video of her? It's like, okay. Everybody got a video of her, evidently. Now what? He like, do you want some or not? You ain't want it, so just delete it. Act like you ain't get a text. Leave him on red. I don't know. But he 50 always talking trash. So it was, you know, it was kind of uh it was kind of interesting to me when found out Diddy got his wife on payroll. I mean baby mama on payroll. He kind of like, it was like, checkmate. Like, I got you. You talk about this cast and stuff. Your baby mama over here right now. I got her on payroll. Ooh. <laughs> that was kind of low. That was low. That was low. And it was messy. Because it's like, Diddy, why you let 50 Cent talk all this trash like that? He like, man, I got his baby mama right back up. Man, I ain't worried about no 50, man. 50 always talking trash. Nah, don't worry about 50, y'all. He going to be all right. Cassie, too. I'm going to pay her. So, yeah, so he had a monthly payroll. I'm like, golly, man, that's crazy. That's so crazy. So what? Jones also claimed April 2023, Young Miami bought the 2C, the, the 2C, okay, on a private jet from Miami because Sean Combs wanted 2C, but Brandon forgot it. God damn it, Brandon. I, you had one job. He like, look. You had one job. You had one job, Brandon. Just get all the party supplies. That's it. Like, if you are you, you're not bringing like a tray, you know, if you had the party, you know, we had potlucks at work. Ugh. You ain't got to bring no tray. Somebody always want to bring like the cups and the plates and stuff like that. He like, Brandon, you just bring the supplies, okay? He done got everything but the main dish. He's like, how you going to forget the dessert? You ain't gonna, you ain't got that. God, uh, now, let me, let me see if I get, uh, hold on. <laughs> let me get Carisha on the phone. Hey, yeah, Carisha. Yeah, hello. Um, yeah, we, we get ready to get on the plane, but, uh, God damn it, this, this Brandon, he ain't got the, you know, he ain't got the pink stuff. You know, you ain't got no contact down there in Florida? Yeah. Okay, well, get it. I don't care, get it. Cash app you. You ain't got no money. I just gave you $250,000. All right, I love you, bye. Okay, so she had to go get it. 
He done put her in a bad spot. I hate people put me in a bad spot, but I don't put me in no bad spot. Because that ain't what I'm here for. Now I got to be handling drugs, but you know, she rose to the occasion. You know, these city girls, they be like, I'm in my bag, but I'm in his bag too. Okay. All right. So according to the U.S. National Library of Medicine's National Center for Biotechnology Information. Okay, this is legit. Now, I don't know that other Madrid situation, but I think they knew what they were talking about too. These people, they, they legit, okay? They like the U.S. National Library of Medicine, okay? They say the 2C, it 2C, pronounced 2C, some, uh, is a concoction sometimes referred to as pink cocoa as it typically comes in the form of a pink powder. It's really pretty. I saw it. I, 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 it was cute. Studies have shown that the majority of 2C samples contain ketamine, often combined with MDMA, methamphetamine, cocoa, opioids, and or new psychoactive substances. You don't know what you're getting. It's a box of chocolates. It's like, you know, these people think, thinking they buying Oxy, but they getting fentanyl and they they getting out of here. You don't know. You're like, hey, give me that pink powder. You know, you'd be like, think, you know, I ain't finna do all of Y'all not be going too far. But you think you're getting that, but you ain't you, you ain't getting nothing. You like, oh, I, I tried that pink stuff. It ain't do nothing for me because you didn't get the right one. They just gave you, it's just a trash bag. You know, it's a trail mix. You don't know what you're going to get, okay? You're thinking you get one thing, you get something else. But, you know, Young Miami, she came through. Combs and Young Miami were first linked in 2021, later confirmed, blah, blah, blah. That's not important. Carisha P, please, uh, podcast. That's when she was like, uh, did it was like, uh, um, uh, she said, we go together. He like, oh, we do. He is going to be all like me. Because when she said that, it's like, oh, you going to tell me what we do while we go together? <laughs> okay. She said, yeah, real bad. He said, <laughs> yeah, he like, oh, yeah, I want to. Yeah. She telling me what to do. Okay. Okay. That's me. I'm on, you know, I, I know I'll be with that miss. Okay. So she's like, my man, my man, my man. Okay. The pair. Okay. We're aloof. Oh, this is such a strange word to me. But they, you know, they ain't had, there wasn't no. It was like they was together, but they wasn't. Jones's lawsuit also implicated other celebrities. He was just rad. No, everybody. He was just naming names. Don't say my name. Don't say my name. Young Miami, whose unnamed cousin was accused of essay after she allegedly burst into the bathroom and began groping Jones during a gathering on Thanksgiving Day. Not Thanksgiving. Not Thanksgiving. Okay, so let me let, let me get into that. And I want to know what y'all think about this. I heard this on another channel too. So they was talking about him bursting into the bathroom, her bursting into the bathroom, you know, and uh, kind of dominating this man, right? So the discussion kind of went towards like, you know, if this, uh, if, if the cousin, you know, her size, should she have been able to kind of manhandle this gentleman in the fashion that he said she did? Well, I'm kind of thinking like, it don't matter. Like, it, it, how, how, what size a man is he's a man he could be a 16 year old man you know and the woman could be you know a 40 year old woman and bigger than him double his size you know it's not a whole lot you could just do with these ma these male figures masculines and then it was like you know um you know what if it's an older man i'm like y'all ever been around old men like when i say old men i mean like i'm gonna say they ain't old, but I'm going to just say them anyway. 40 plus. These old men, they are strong. They old, they, uh, old man strength. Y'all ain't never heard of old man strength? I done seen, like, my dad and my uncles, my, you know, his cousins and little nephews, you know, they be in their 20s and say your dad at 50. They can't do nothing. Them boys can't do nothing with them old men. Them old men, I don't know what kind of strength they got or where they find it from. It's like, is it in here? Or where is it? These boys cannot do anything with these men. These old men, older men, they strong. I don't care if they little. Like, I don't care if they 5'4". I don't care if they 140 pounds, 160 pounds. I don't know how big they are. It doesn't matter. But they strong. Now, if you, okay, let's get back on that too. Now, y'all... Tell me in the chat now, because I want y'all to get active in this chat. Let me know if y'all have ever, 
if y'all seen an old man in action, now first of all, let's let's get let's be real. Now they probably got some kind of weapon on them. <laughs> they probably got some uh, they probably got some kind of weapon on them, like a weapon. Like they probably got a knife. Oh, me and be carrying knives. I don't know if it's just an old man I know. Like in the south, they got a knife probably somewhere, <laughs> and they can't put the knife back in their boot until they got blood on it. So if they gotta pull their knife out. I don't know. I hope YouTube don't get upset about this, but I don't even care. Uh, this is just the truth right now. If they take the knife out, they somebody going to get hurt, okay? So, they got a weapon, or they know where to find one. They done already scammed the room. They know what's going on. I, I, don't, I, don't, I like being around these older men. They know what to do. They know how to protect you, and they take care of business, and they tell you to shut up and stop all that mess you have going on. they like, they ain't putting up with that. They ain't putting up with your mess. They ain't putting up with your mess. Mm -mm. They like, hey, and you like, okay, sorry, okay, but yeah, these older men, they be they be strong. They like, look, I, I recently, <laughs> I saw like a forty year old man kind of act like they want to get into a tussle with an older man. They humble them real quick, and switch, be so crazy. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> What's happening? He's like, oh no, they gonna hurt them, but they ain't gonna hurt them. They these old men, older men, they ain't they not playing though. They ain't playing. Okay. So yeah. I forgot what I was saying with that. Let me see what y'all said in the chat before I get back into this anyway. <laughs> y'all like, girl. Okay. Polyphonic thinker. I do not know why all the messages don't come up. But while I'm still small, y'all, and, and y'all in the chat. Trust me, if it show up on this side and I can pull it up, I'm going to pull your comments up because, you know, y'all with me day one. Y'all my day ones over here. And I appreciate you. I love all y'all. Stick with me. Stick with me. Okay? Polyphony Thinker says, it's wild. People will try crazy drugs. I'll stick to shrooms. <laughs> I ain't never had them. I never had shrooms. Okay, I, I, I'm interested though. I, I'm interested because you know I'm just interested. You telling y'all feels supposed to poison. That don't mean I'm taking them, you know. But I'm definitely interested. If I got addictive behavior, I be done got hooked on something. Y'all be looking crazy up here <laughs> after I done got hooked on something. So I probably need to leave them alone. Mortgage bosses should stick to the addicts now, you know. They definitely welcome around here. They present tonight. Thank you so much. They getting us through the string. Uh, so the Bella said Prada pouches. Okay, what I said, Gucci. <laughs> the Prada pouches is like the PP. You know, we got the Prada pouches. We got the pink powder. You know, we just peeing it all up up here. That sounded kind of gross. Shouldn't have said it like that. <sighs> but anyway, <laughs> I forgot the song. Okay, and I forgot what the twos were for. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The songs, we don't know the songs. We didn't know the songs from the album because Black Pearl, thank you so much, Black Pearl. I like that name. He said, too, I ain't never heard no song on no love album. Soon as the album came out, Cassidy, Cassidy, Cassie, Cassandra, she said, uh, shut it down. Shut it down. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take it from here. Yeah, this album and the money that he was going to make out of it, it belongs to me. The name stays home. Okay? Cassie's like, nah, I'm going to get that. I'm, I'm going to need that. You got to uh, run me my money, homie. That's what Rod trying to get. Rod ain't Rod. I don't know how Rod. Rod stuff study kind of. It's kind of starting to look shaky. Starting to look shaky. Polyphonics. I ain't heard of that song. I ain't heard of that album. I don't know. No songs on it. He wrote, this man wrote nine songs on the album that just got shut down right out the door. 416 Prince Beats. Okay. 416. Is that how we say it? Watch from Toronto, Canada. Okay. I was going to say something. It probably ain't going to even like it. I'm like, this is so like it. Never mind. Thank you for coming to the chat. We in the chat. We in the chat. All right. You know the crying face and laughing face. Who even knows what I was saying then? Because when I y'all not get to talking, I get to talk. Polyphony thing it says 50 a top notch troll. He is. He trolls everybody in it. But but now, if you and him got some kind of deal going on and he trolling you, you know. Just to create some kind of beef in you know social media space, and you got an album coming out, Kanye West. Remember him and Kanye? They had like every time Kanye was giving a drop of album, it was like, "What Fifty say? Uh, what he say? Uh, if they hate, then let them hate and watch the money pile up." 
that was a whole little, you know, deal. And every time it got, they started getting into it, when the album was finna drop, and what? Album sales went all the way up. I'm thinking about getting into it with 50 Cent. How am I going to get my channel off the ground if I don't get into some kind of beef for 50 Cent? I'm trolling him tonight. 50, you played yourself, 50. I, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I ain't mean that, you know. Unless you're going to do it, okay? Yes, he's a top-notch troll. He trolled everybody. I would not want to have no kind of deals with him, but I'm going to be honest now. Diddy, Diddy won this round. <laughs> he won this round. He like, I got your baby mama on the payroll. What? Ooh, talk about like, y'all to take a man down. I'm going to get this round to him. You know what? I'm going to just say it. It's like, man, you, you lost the battle, but you may have won the war. I'm going to get a crown to Diddy on this one. I'm going to get him the crown. He gets it. He gets it. So it's like, what you say about Cassie and some, you know, message? Yeah, I ain't got no baby with Cassie. Cassie going on. You know, I did. She did what she needed to do. She did what had to be done. Now she out. But you, you got a baby over here. Don't you? Get in there, Daphne. 50 ain't doing you right, baby. He ain't doing you right. How much he paying you for child support? Huh? How much he paying you for child support? All right, come on. Come on, get, come on Team Diddy, baby. Come on, Team Diddy. Let me, let me get you on the payroll. And she went to, boy, these women they ain't loyal. Because, I, you know, that was just, that was disrespectful to me. That was disrespectful, that was disrespectful to me for her to even, like, I, Diddy don't even, don't even approach me, okay? Because, you know, if I'm with you, I got a baby with you, you know, and I know you got beef with this person over here, you ain't got to worry about me, okay? Because I'm loyal. I am mean, to an extent, <laughs> you know. But you need to give me my money. I, <laughs> but it's like, Diddy be like, uh. In Allen, 50 ain't doing you right. Time out, have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. How much money he paying you? I'm like, can you stay out of my business? And then I go back and be like, can you believe Diddy offered me $50,000 a month? Time out, asking me how much you paying me. He crazy. I mean, but I mean, can we, can I get a little more money? Can I get a little more? I, I mean, we got a lifestyle to maintain. She was cute, but I, you know, that was messed up. She shouldn't even done that. Diddy shouldn't have done that. That was messed up. Now nah, I'm just I'm gonna be real about that. That was messed up. She shouldn't have done that. These women ain't loyal though. But yeah, you know, y'all them kind y'all be picking. Lord have mercy, y'all love crazy and mixed. Uh, accountability, something like dude. He says fifties baby mama with Diddy is crazy. After all that trash talking for fifty, I'm telling you. Man, these women, I'm this her fault because she she put 50 in a bad spot when she accepted the offer. Okay, did it, did what you know, a man gonna be a man, that's what they say. He did what they do, she ain't had to take the offer when she took the offer. Not only well, it wasn't like oh, a one, one time situation, you know, like oh, well, uh, and he was in a she was in a bind, Nate, it wasn't even that. She just like, I'm going to stay on a payroll. This mother going to like, give me a recurring situation. I got to do work like all the time. I got to get money all the time from him. It was like, you know, it was one time I, I messed up, you know, you can lie way out of it. She just kept doing it. Even though technically, if we want to be like that, she didn't really owe 50 no loyalty, but it just wasn't a good look. That wasn't, that wasn't a good look. She didn't have to do that. She didn't have to do that. I wonder how much she was getting paid. I, I, I kind of want to know how much how much Diddy was paying her, and I want to know what 50 Cent was paying her. Now, all of a sudden, he like, he want full custody. <laughs> and you can't be like no you know, no, no, no nighttime worker like that and keep the key. You know, they, might, they, might, they might get him the key. They might get it. You know, but it's like... But 50, what kind of, what kind of you know, dirt you roll around in? You know, all this crazy. Like, how did, you know, these chicks, the same women, they keep passing around. Anyway, Samuel Avila, he said that pink, I, I, what? I did not coke. It's not. It's not coke. It's not coke. 
It's a, it's a whole bunch of other stuff that ain't coke. And, you know, Whitney Houston said crack is cheap. The coke is expensive. They ain't, they ain't giving you that. They give you some stepped on stuff or however they say it. Polyphonic thinker says, but I hit as hard as I do. So maybe I'm an outlier. Oh, no, it don't matter, polyphonic thinker. It doesn't matter. You can hit as hard as a dude. But I don't think they just going to, they ain't going to let you just stand there. They ain't going to just stand there and let you just hit them, you know? I'm talking about like if you got to get into a scuffle or, you know, they got you by your, your pockets or your belt buckles or they hold you by your wrist like this. You can't get out. Have you ever like had somebody hold your wrist together like that and restrain you? You like, man, you can't get out. They can hold you like this with one hand. You can't get out of it. So you, you be punching the air. They, you can't get out. They tell you can't get out, man. They, 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 they can't get out. So I haven't met a strong 90-year-old man. <laughs> Y'all don't talk. Well, you haven't met him yet. That don't mean they don't exist. And if you, if you, you know, run up on him, right, he probably could get his way out of it. I know some, I'm going to say 70. I will use my dad as an example. My, you know, he, he, maybe he's an outlier. But it's like these men, they be strong. These men be strong. Why? Right? And these old men be strong. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's this, is it up in here, if it's mentally, how they can maneuver. I don't know. I don't know if it's the knives, the knives that they have or the weapons because <laughs> they do keep a weapon on them. You know, these ones down here in the Southeast country ones, y'all probably call them country. They have a weapon on them, okay? So accountability is laughing, but they can, you know what I'm saying? Polyphonics, I could definitely eat a 90-year-old man. Yeah, he probably, they got some ones around here. I just seen they right, they driving around, they come and doing all their own stuff. They running errands for their kids, you know? But these are rare ones. I'm talking about, let me say, when I say, oh, I'm going to say up to 70, a healthy 70. I ain't talking about these ones that already had health, health complications. They've been having high blood pressure since they was 30. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that's built, built. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't even got to be built because, you know, once they get older, you know, their muscle mass ain't what it was, but they still strong. They still strong. Try them if you want to. you like, I'm going to grab them. <laughs> Try to grab them. See what happens. Try to grab one of them, see what happens. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I ain't, I ain't asking. I'm telling, I've seen this like <laughs> recently in the past few months. And this is other, this younger man, he wasn't weak, you know. He's, he's strong too. He like running back. <laughs> I'm just saying, still got it. Still. Okay. Sam says, I love you. Okay, I love y'all. Okay. He's a, he's a strong old man. I'm looking at your picture. I believe it. I know what you sound like, too. I can hear your voice. Christopher Williams. What's up? You made it. You laughing. You know, we keep it party going, okay? When I get on a roll, I be on a roll. Chris also says, come on, team. Did it. 50 did that to Rick Ross years. What? Come back on 50. 50 did that to Rick Ross. 50 did that to uh, Kanye West. 50 did that to Vivica Fox. 50 did that to Diddy. 50 did what 50 does. But this round, it goes to Diddy. Y'all got to give it up for Diddy. Y'all have to give it up for Diddy. Diddy didn't say anything when 50 was all in the news talking about, you know, well, the Cassie situation. And Diddy sent me a letter of Cassie, sent me a video of Cassie. I'm like, where it come from, dude? I just, I sent it back to him, kind of find out. He was like, do you want to, you know, take a chance on her? You want to see what she all about, you know? 50 like, no, how dare you? Are you offering her to me? I don't want her. Did it down bad. You know, he like, oh, um, somebody sent it to me. You know, I figured that they got it from blah, blah, blah. He's like, okay, whatever. Did it like love them all. <laughs> he brother love, okay? His brother love. He doesn't care about that video you got of Cassie doing some um, inappropriate things that he told her to do. And he paid other people to go get the workers to, you know, participate in this situation. He didn't care about that. He didn't even respond to that 50. 
gonna get to a beef with 50 Cent. 50 Cent gonna, put, gonna run my channel up. He gonna, he gonna piss me off. I'm gonna get to it with him. I'm gonna get to it with him. But I'm gonna be like, look, you cross the line, then, you know, we gonna have a problem. But I'm, I'll get into it with him. I don't want to get to a 50 cent. 50 cent, he do go too far. But Diddy beat him out this round. I'm going to get to Diddy. I'll give it up for Diddy. Okay? Sammy says, well, I don't think it's as bad as they put it out there. Y'all, I got to keep up with what I be talking about. Uh, It doesn't work like that. Did I say something? Okay, so Queen Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Watching from Delaware. But what the F are you talking about? Why is your face angry? But I'm talking about, about what? I'm talking about the drug situation. And I'm talking about strong old men. Now, do you know strong old men, queen? Queen, she's your queen to be queen. That's what we're talking about. Look at the title, man. We're talking about a red light special. We're talking about red light districts. Let me do a, a rewind and do an introduction again. Okay? I'm in Allen Rx, and what is this? Pills, potions, and poisons. What are we talking about tonight? We're talking about the red light special. Let me do it. Let me go back and do a recap for those of you who came in a little bit later. Because y'all need to hear this again. Because I don't even know if I had sound at the, at the point. So this is what we're talking about. Um, This is what I started with. Let's go back. Let's go back. So picture it. Okay. I'm on. I'm at home. I'm like. Looking at YouTube, like y'all looking at YouTube right now. I'm like, this room with um, Cuba Good Jr. in there looking a little sus, um, it's red. And I was like, hmm, red, red light, uh, red rum. I'm like, red rum, red rum, red rum. <laughs> y'all know that movie. I said, just like that. Do y'all know what that movie is? Where they talking about red rum? I don't, we, with the guy who used to sit on the court side of the lake, because nobody told me what that was yet. I'm still waiting on that. Dude, that was, you can't handle the truth. The movie, not Few Good Men, not Tom Cruise. The one where he was like, Red Rum, with them twins on there. I don't watch scary movies. I just got a little bit of that. I watch little clips here and there. I don't watch scary movies. I don't like to be scared. That's the, I like to be happy. I like to be cool. I like to be up, okay? What is the name of that um, the movie with the Red Rum, with the twins, and... um. I'm going to have to Google his name. Um, I guess I could Google the movie, too. Y'all can tell me in the chat. What is the name of the movie? It's a scary movie. Red Rum. Anyway, so I was like, Red Light. Red Light Special. Of course I'm on the Red Light Special all through the night, baby. I'm on that. I'm TLC. Y'all see me. Y'all know I know TLC. If nobody else know TLC, look at me. I know TLC, okay? So I'm like, is the red light special? Is that a thing? Because it's like, it look like this was set up on purpose. It ain't like, oh, that's just I like, got a flashing light that's changing colors. This red light situation, I mean, red room, it looks like it's a thing, right? It looks like it's a thing. So what do I do? I go to trusty old Google. I don't Google for work. At work, we got our clinical pharmacology, our drug information. We have our, you know, um, primary sources where we get our information. I'm not looking up drug information on Google, but I do go to Google for everything else, okay? So I go to Google. I type in, what is a red light special? I was hoping, I was at home, but you know, you still don't want them to take you to nothing too crazy because you know what if they bust him up my house one day take out let me get out let's get all the hard drives and everything like they did did it and then they found something i ac accidentally clicked on because i'm trying to look up what real life specialist for my youtube stream tonight okay so it didn't take me to nothing crazy it said where's a real life special it says a woman but i see however you identify yourself if you're man woman whatever gender person, place, or thing, however you identify yourself, it's a plan, a real life special, is a plan to give your lover a shamefully naughty night of sexual delights that could only otherwise be done with a pro, professional, worker, in the red light districts of the world. I said, this sound real hot. 
It sounds steamy, okay? Sounds red hot, okay? So at this point, I got eight different things going on in my head. By now, since we've been talking about it, I got 12 narratives going in my head now about what the red light situation is, okay? So I see it to myself because I, as I keep digging, you know, I'm thinking a little bit more about this. I'm like, well, what's the red light? There's red light, I wonder. Cause you know how they give you these flashing light warnings or whatever, like they might give you a seizure. And I'm like, what does the red light do something for the senses? You know, why was the, you know, what's up with the red light talk? What's up with the red light? So I Googled what effect does red light have on the senses? It said, this is what Google said. They told me this. Who is they in Allen? Google. They said red LED lights can be used to enhance sexuality, intimacy, and romance in the bedroom. That's what they said. It's associated with blood, sun, fire, and precious stones like ruby and garnet, and can evoke romantic feelings and a sense of desirable connection. One study found that the red light is perceived less pleasant and more arousing than the blue light. So don't have a blue light in your room. Have a red one, okay? It stimulates a heightened sense of excitement. So their red light is something else, okay? So we went to that. Then I was like, okay, well, what's the red light district? I went down a rabbit hole. I lost a lot of time. That's how I was. I had to set my time back tonight and I still was a few minutes late, but went down a rabbit hole of the red light situation. So when you see Cuba Good in that, in that room on the yacht, where is that at? I still, still, this was my first night back. So that's just how that's going to go. Y'all have seen the, the pictures of him groping this young man. Okay. Little Rod. But they amending these uh, complaints or whatever. It's still a question mark. I don't know. They acting like, hey, they didn't do you something right. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a pharmacist. So we talking about the drugs. We talked about the pink cocoa, which may or may not include the cocoa. So people are paying full price for something they're not even getting. But who can they complain to? If you're like, I want pink cocaine and there ain't no cocaine in it, you, who you going to tell? Who you going to tell? Like, hey, hey, I, I'm going to need my money back. I'm chasing the high that I didn't even get. I got sleeping last night. We supposed to be getting all riled up and, you know, turning up. I'm drinking alcohol with this stuff. It's already a downer. I ain't got no kind of stimulant because the cocaine ain't in there. Who can you complain to? You can't be a Karen and ask for the manager of the people who are cooking up the drugs in the kitchen. You know, you just missed out. You just lost some money, you know. It's just was a wasted night. It's just was night was just wasted, okay? Because you buy drugs on the street, and then, you know, this is how that went down. That's what I that's how that's what I'm thinking about that. You know, so there's that. But that's what we talk about. Let's go back. Well, somebody else, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what okay oh my goodness okay the bs they do for the industry and music business this, yeah that's what this all is all about david the pulse with the david carmina show hey david i support our content creators in the chat and yeah you know drop the you know channels whatever you're gonna do i have a whole lot of people you know but I do appreciate everybody y'all coming here and supporting me tonight you know i love y'all it's always l-o-v-e Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. He says it's looking pretty bad for Diddy. I think it's looking bad for Diddy. It is. And they arrested. I said this earlier, but I'll say it again too. Um, they arrested your boy with the drug. That's the mule. He got out here $2,500. That's all he had to pay to get out. I don't know how it works because I don't, you know, deal with jail and stuff like that. People get arrested and bonds and all that, but it didn't seem too high to me. Queen says, Yes, baby girl, I do. But man, this Diddy situation did it. Yep. It's so confusing. And so many other celebrities involved. So many other celebrities involved. So many. Thank you, exclusive bling. The Shining. <laughs> yes. That's the name of the movie. Like Red Rum, Red Rum. I told you, I ain't watch it. Because I don't watch scary movies. I don't watch them. You're like, oh, we're going to go see the latest Halloween or I don't know. I don't even, I don't like no kind of scary movies. I don't like 
Children of the Corn. I don't like. I don't like fake scary movies. And I don't like the kind that's like, you know, the real scary movies. Like this, like, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Blair Witch Project. Them kind. I don't like them either. Okay? Like, that stuff not real in Alan. I don't care. I'm not watching it. I don't like to be scared. Okay? Davis called me a whip. <laughs> you got me a whip. Uh, Dave, you probably strong now. I ain't going to test you. I, oh, you talking about I, I get to a 50 cent? He can he come find me. And Lee, don't worry. Don't bother me. Don't bother me. 50 cent. I, ain't, I ain't got time to be playing 50 cent. I'm not playing with him. Okay. Because he be he going too far. Time I have a baby by him. Baby be a millionaire. You got to have a baby by 50 cent. Then you got to go be working for Diddy as a, as a, as a, uh, <laughs> a high pay escort. Is that a nice way to say it? Can we say it? Can we say sex workers on here? She was a sex worker. You, you ain't, He made a whole song talk about have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. This is how these men would fool you. She be the had a baby. <laughs> he don't even want to pay you. He don't want to take care of the child and stuff. So I'm going to have a baby by me. You be, you be baby, mess yourself up, had a baby by this man. Still got to go work for somebody else. I guess it's like, she's like, I got you. You want to give me no more money? All right. Got you. Hey, Sean. What's up, Sean? Jack Nicholson. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Exclusive Bling. Some of y'all been listening in the chat. Okay. So, where we at? I'm, let's go back to it. <laughs> Who is this? It's getting close to my bedtime. Okay, Polly Funny. Thank you. Thank y'all. Though. Stay, everybody else, stay up long as you can. You know, I ain't going to be here too much longer. I ain't going to be when I get off here, but I'm probably going to get off. I be up. Okay. So um hmm, where where was I at? Let's get back up in here, y'all. Okay. So um okay, so he's did we say okay, this was she burst into the bathroom with him. That's why I I, I kind of got into that the old man talk situation and who can who can fight and who can't. But I mean that okay, I did have one more thing I wanted to say about that. So Diddy allegedly offered him some cocaine right before he went into the bathroom and was um assaulted by this um this 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 lady, right? Miami's young Miami's cousin, Karish cousin. Karish cousin, I'm like, I know Karish cousin, he's you know, Karish cousin was all on him, and she was like, he didn't want her, but she just kept pushing up on him. So, what was I gonna say about that? I really lost my train of thought. I need to stop being crazy because I really forgot what I was going to say about that. So anyway, let me go back. Maybe it'll come up. Um, um, okay. Thanksgiving Day. Jones going to produce. Oh, that's what I was going to say about that. So he offered him drugs. He's like, nah, man, I don't want none. Did it like, <laughs> okay. They like, he's such a square. Why you got him in here anyway? He don't want to do nothing. So he like, man, go on get him. Go on get him. She like, I get him. So if they was on if they was on Coco, it's like that just gets you hyped up. That don't really make you stronger, right? You, it lowers your inhibitions. It's like if you're on drugs like that, even even alcohol too, either one of them. You it lowers your inhibitions. That means things you would typically not do in your right sober mind. You like, oh, I ain't scared. I do it. So he like, she was, she probably was on the powder. He was like, man, go in that bathroom and, you know, help you hook your boy up. I don't know what he said to her, but seems like it was something like that. So she go up in there, man, like, nah, <laughs> nah. You know, he said he, he, he didn't, you know, she, she, she took over him, you know, but he, he, it wasn't all the way. Now, uh, a person, the co- that's what the Coco does. But I was thinking, now something that would have got a like uh, superhuman strong is the bath salts. Now, we didn't hear nothing about them things up in there. We didn't hear nothing about the bath salts. Now, if they would have been on some bath salts and somebody was resisting somebody, you know how Diddy was like, he told that man he would eat his face up. Did he say that? He was like, I, I, he threatened, he said, man, I slapped my mama. You think I got a problem with doing something to you? I'll eat your face up. 
I think that's what they said. You know, I I I'm listening. I ain't reading a lot of this for myself. I'm just kind of hearing bits and pieces here and there, you know. But I'm like, but if he was on bath salts, if she was on bath salts, she she would have took him. She, somebody face would have got ate up. People when they be on bath salts, they run across a four or five lane, you know, freeway. They get hit by 18 wheel and get up. <laughs> when they're on bath salts, now they would have said that. I'd be like, oh, she 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 shredded him. She took him off. She did whatever she wanted to do with him. If she, they was on bath salts. That's what I was going to say about that. But I didn't hear any mention of any bath sauce or anything even close to that. It was just, you know, it was just the usual. You know, it wasn't that exotic that I know of. But they don't know what they was taking because they just buying from people. And, you know, they taking whatever they can get because they just trying to have fun. I think. In my opinion. So, what happened? Okay. Jones also claimed Stevie J was there. You know, working for Diddy. He participated in the parties and the freak-offs. I also said I've been gone for a minute now. I'm back with the jump-off. That's what Lil' Kim said in the song. But I'm wondering if the if if the previous name of the freak-offs were the jump-offs. What y'all think? They could have been called the free jump off. Jump off. Y'all know what she was like, Fine. whatever that song is. I've been gone for a minute now. I'm back with the jump off. So she was like, Oh, I was participating in the jump offs. Now they freak offs. Update the lyrics, look here. Let's get back to the store. Okay, let's go back. So he said they was in the freak off. Is this the end? Did it? Okay, they raided his homes. They ain't said they found no drugs. It sounded like they took all these computers and things like that. Suge Knight said, and we don't know how reliable of a source he is. You know, he questionable. So we can't really rely on a whole lot of what he said. He said they wasn't going in there to get nothing no way. That's what he said. He said, I mean, but that's just, that's just a front. They weren't going there. They weren't trying to get no drugs. They weren't trying to find nothing. They were trying to destroy evidence. That's what um that's what Shoot Nice said. Man, that's what I read on Twitter on X. I tell y'all I've been reading, but I ain't reading. I ain't, you know, you know, ain't none of my sources really reliable. You know, I Google and then I use my own, you know, deductive reason. You know, I'm not reading between the lines. All in your window. I'm like, hmm, I'm conspiracy theory at this point. I'm like, oh, but that's that. But that's that. And then Sloan said she predicted this last year. I don't know. I'm going out there kind of stuff. So I ain't reliable right now. But that's what she and I see. That's what he see. So they said, okay, all the lawsuits, blah, 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 rapper, music, mogul. They said he did all kind of stuff. This is okay. The day after, they ain't saying nothing important right here. Okay. This, oh, but this is what his attorney said. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. That's what his lawyer said. And you better think, you know, did he got the kind of money he got? He, he got some good attorneys. You know that he better, he better, he better have some good attorneys. In his eyes. If he don't, they do, what's the point of making his money? You can't, you know, get the best of the best. Even poor people want the best of the best. Okay? What y'all saying in the chat? Southern Bell says, uh, maybe Diddy, <laughs> let's see, maybe Diddy was facilitating a red blue light research site <laughs> to inform scholarly article. That might explain the cameras everywhere. Hmm. It, yeah, okay. I like it. I like it. Okay, but that's a, you. Do you think that will work in court? You think when they, you know, took all the cameras and stuff, if they wasn't using it for what Suge Knight said they was using it for, if they really was trying to collect evidence, evidence. If they really was trying to collect evidence, you think that you think you know? Would you buy that? It's like, oh well, he's just writing an article. He he doing research. Yeah, he's doing research. He in film school. I like that. Okay, we'll go with that, Southern Bella. Yeah, we on the same page. Okay. So, the diddler is finished. That's what Doom Rush. 
Who was really in your picture? It looked like somebody. Mm, boy, y'all something. Y'all something else. He, okay. Etika. Etika. We got to put the emphasis on the right syllable. Got to put, I don't know. Yeah, too, okay. Had had he been anything other than saltine, <laughs> he'd still be in jail. I hate scary movies, too. Talking about Jack Nicholson. Because he, he wild out here in this street, too. The what? Mm, where? Who even knows? Okay, so let's see. Please tell me that's your cat meowing. Oh, because I'm looking for mine like they need me. <laughs> no. I don't have a cat. I have a dog, but this is just a cat sound. No, this is just something I got off the internet. Um, yeah, but I, I, I'm a dog person. I wasn't even a dog person until someone else bought the dog here. You know, I, I you know, that's just how that goes. So, yeah. <laughs> Char says, hi, someone do a reading on Mary J. Where is Where is who? Mary J? Well, all the time that I was loving you. Yeah, I don't know where Mary at. What's up with Mary? What they trying to say about her? Mary done been through enough. I don't want nothing else to happen to Mary J. Blige. I kind of do, though. This is me being selfish. She, need, she put out a good album. Some of these people, they put out good music when they sad. And that's unfortunate. But they be having a lot to write about. I like to listen. When they had them albums and they be sad, boy, you like, oh, yes, this is your best work. It be, you know, come out of a sad situation. But you can look at it like, you know, you rising from the ashes like a phoenix. But it's like, it's still sad, you know, to have your heart broken. It's so sad. I felt that before. Accountability says, do you think Diddy used copolamine on his victims during freak offs? Oh, hoo -hoo! um, hmm. I mean, <laughs> who knows? Probably. He like, here, we get one on the yacht. You be like, I can get motion sickness. You know? I don't, I can't, my, I'm, I'm finna throw up. We had too many different things in here. You know, is this, is this, is this yacht doctor? What? Can we turn the lights on? He like, here, put this behind your ear. We gonna be out here on this water three days. Like, we ain't gonna never come back. We going to be like freaking out for three days straight. Yes. You change these patches every 72 hours. So keep this on the whole time. Like somebody was all up in your ear with a high breath and then they took your patch off because they was being silly. And they, you know, it's like, I need that patch because I can't, you know, some of these people can't work without a patch behind the ear because they going to be, ooh, 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 you know, but I mean, it's a yacht. I figure like it ain't like, you know, got a whole lot of, you know, swing going on. It's probably smooth, right? I don't know how I ain't never been on, what I've been on the yacht. It's like a commercial type situation, but still, I, I think he, you know, I think Diddy got access to everything. I think whatever they need or that they could anticipate while they're at the free calls, that I think they got it. Cause also it's like these, um, what do you call these places? When people be getting these IVs, they, we call them hangover clinics. They got a lot of them, too, so they probably have some stuff for that, too. You know, you get your IV, they cracking down on them here. I talked to the board of pharmacy, you know, they be visiting us. I can't tell you if they ain't talking, but they, they looking into a whole lot of stuff that ain't going right around here right now. So, yeah, these hangover clinics, if they got the scopolamine patches, they got their doctors on call. Mm -hmm. I was looking at that dude, that uh, the fixer guy, what's his name, Fahi, whatever his name is, I was like, how tall he is. David says, so you make it up. I, I, I'm um I'm doing an analysis. I'm uh inferring and I'm speculating, David. That's the word. We're speculating and we investigating using the information that we've been provided. We making a uh educated guess. I told y'all I used to do research all the time, so I'm coming up with a new hypothesis. So, you know, after we test that, the first theory. And I told you, I still ain't figured out if it's like, you know, we fail to reject, accept, agree, disagree, yes, no, maybe so. I, I can't, it, I got to, you got to have real quick questions in front of me. So I'm like, okay, okay, after we did the experiment, this is what we came up with. And then all of it was a fail and they say it's not a fail. I'm just always confused right now. It's just always confused. Okay. So I, that's why I speculate, David. 
that's that's what we're gonna say with speculating. And we we you know we this ain't no official documents or nothing. Even though you know the internet is forever, they say. <sighs> and, and you know this is not this ain't this ain't my field of work. So they can take my you know whatever I say with a grain of salt. It's probably what they got in the pink uh in the pink co cocoa because it ain't the cocoa. It's probably some some kind of you know uh what do you call it Epsom salt or something. I don't even know. They don't know what they get, Marie. They did go in there a little extra, like they were going after Pablo Escobar oh, or Chapo. El Chapo. I got a uh, well, I got a, I got a palm, and then I got an, uh, another plant, uh, a fig, and then El Chapo, and then Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar. That's the big one. That, that thing is huge. <laughs> I need to repot that plant. Uh, yeah, they, they they known to have weapons. Yeah. But I did did it. They say Diddy got guns. He got the GUS. They say he got them on site. They get they got he got I, I think the guy, the, the the drug guy was also the GUN guy. And I watch enough of these narco shows to know that, you know, all they go together. The drugs, the GUNs, and the money. Yeah, all they got the, the person that got, you know, who got it. Oh, well, I I got a I got a gun guy. Yeah, they got the money guy too, and they got the drug guy. The drugs seem like it's easier though. It seem like moving them GUNs. They seem like that's a little bit, you know, a little bit more involved. Okay. David smiling because you know I I took just speculating. This is all speculating. It's all I do. But yeah, so let me uh did I finish it? Let's see. Mm, ambush. Okay, yeah, that was it. But yeah, so I told y'all about what the two C. The two C, like pronounced like the number two and the letter C. That is um. Thank you, David. Down. Thank you, David. I'm gonna put myself up. It's pronounced like two C. I could find the chemical name of it. Y'all don't even need to know that anyway. Y'all just need to know how to pronounce it. That's what y'all come here for. We come, we talk about the drugs, and we learn about the street drugs. So when we out here in these streets, and you know somebody talking, they think they're talking over our head because they're looking at you like, hmm, she squared up. They don't know what that is. I'm like, I know what two C is. You don't know what two C is because you think it's some powder up in there, and it's not. It's just a bunch of trash. But go ahead, try to get your little fake high that you're not gonna get. Oh, don't drink that liquor with it, cause it's gonna take you down. You're gonna be sleeping a minute. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if you're ready to go and get crunk up. You think you finna party for three days in a row? You'll be sleep for the night over it, cause you ain't got the stimulant. You need the stimulant, the upper. You need that part. Okay, you're gonna need that. But anyway, y'all. Should I drop the link? Ugh, it's late. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is right now. I got on kind of late. Let me see. I always do. I'm going to drop this link. Y'all don't want to come up here. But I'm going to drop it anyway so y'all can't be like, oh, we wanted to come up. But we didn't come up because you didn't drop the link. You still don't know how to drop this link. Twin. Where have you been? Where is it? I do this. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, I got it. I got it. I'm ready to do it next time. Uh -uh. Nobody knows me. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. All right. Marie says, I heard it was ketamine, MDA, and fentanyl. They, it, it could be fentanyl in there. They said ketamine, MDA, man. They said caffeine. There's, I feel like they, they throw the caffeine in there to kind of get make you feel like you're getting a stimulant. You ain't gonna just might well drink a coke. <laughs> yeah, that ain't the same thing. I'm gonna say, come and talk to me. I be trying to be extra, and I just don't even be getting it right. I'm gonna drop this thing. I guess I'm gonna drop it. Uh, oh shoot! <laughs> what in the world? Oh, I, I, I always mess up. Try to be extra. Okay, so yeah. Uh, if y'all want to join the panel, y'all want to talk to me, y'all can talk to me from the chat. They do the same thing. But y'all want to, you know, come up, let me know. Drop your channels in the chat. Y'all know how I go. And if I didn't pull your comment up, it's because I didn't see it over here on stream. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes they don't come up. Okay, so there is the uh, 
is the uh Did I do it right? I don't know. I do this every time. Okay, well, let's just see. If y'all want to hit the link, you can. If you don't, I understand that too. So, we went over everything, guys. We might as well probably get ready to shut this thing down. I really do appreciate everybody coming in tonight. Y'all know I love y'all as always. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your time. Because you could be spending time anywhere else doing anything else other than being here with me tonight. So I love y'all. Thank you so much. And if there are no other questions, we go out of benediction. I ain't having a benediction. This ain't no church because this is all this mess I done said tonight, you know. You know how they go. Y'all know. But anyway, I'm back, y'all. <laughs> I've been going on breaks. I be going on breaks and I be living in the real world because sometimes, you know, you know, some people don't like the Internet and uh, these social media platforms and they be talking all that mess. But, you know, there can only be one me. I'm the only one. But, yeah, so I'll be back. You just have to take a break for a little while, you know, and these children be running you crazy. You know, I just got to live. OK. Other than that, I'll be back. I might come back tomorrow. Or Saturday. I do have something I want to talk to y'all about. Everybody always getting drugged around here. Okay. Tonight, there was some whoever. Everybody got drugged evidently. People were drugging themselves. Okay. Well, other than that, it don't even matter. Come back for another drug story. Another drug talk. Bring your ideas to me. Bring them to me. Give me your ideas. Okay. I want them. Okay. And then we'll stream about it. We'll talk about it, y'all. This was a cool stream. It always got to be a little quick. If it's a little bit an hour or a little bit over an hour. Oh, this was almost two hours. I hadn't even planned on being on that long. But I do thank y'all for that. I love your visuals. I love y'all being here. I love y'all getting active in the chat. So all my regulators out here, as always, you know, L-O-V-E-Y-O-U. What do I say at the end of this? Oh, the uh, prescriptions. They keep piling up, as always. These phones, they never stop ringing. But I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Good night. Bye.